Virgo, I have a lot to say about you in 2015. This is a great month for you. Now, this is going to count for Virgo if it's your sun sign or your ascending sign. So let's check it out. October 2015 is possibly the best month for everybody uh, of the whole year, but I'm starting it with the new moon October 12th. So um, especially Virgos have opportunity to maximize their luck. And of course, you're the best at upgrades. So um, you should do well where other people are just complaining. Now, uh, the first half of the month, you can see by the red is a little challenging. We get into the green, it gets a lot better. So Mercury is retrograde at the beginning of the month. And for you, you probably had to go through, you're probably cleaning out your closets or going through all uh, your materials, tools, resources. And you probably like that sort of thing more than most people. But um, I think what's really important too is to enhance your survival instincts with uh, this Mercury retrograde. Um, October 3rd through 9th, Mars is opposite Neptune. Now this can create a lot of bizarre situations in the sense that here you are just feeling really animated and strong. You have strong, uh, your identity, your body, your appearance. These are all like, you know, muscling up. There's a lot of courage and pioneer spirit here. But your partners may, see, may be glamorous and sensitive and spiritual, but they, they could also be a little confused and uh, sus uh, susceptible to trickery. Um, so, so you really do have to like, give, you know, keep them on guard, and, and not, but not upset them too much. So then, um, so that's what's going on then. Now, October 4th through 9th, the sun is square Pluto. And at this point, you are focusing on resources, aesthetics, and instincts, like you were with the Mercury retrograde. But you also have this burning desire and this love, this great love of talent. And, and also your children are becoming more powerful, if you have any. And so you, you want to fortify the, um, the realistic part of life, the support in life, but then you also have this underlying passion to make full use of your talents. So in this case, it's a little tricky that um, you don't want to just do something just for money, but at the same time, you don't want to ignore your true talent and your true calling. Um, now things get a little bit better. Um, six through the 16th, there's a Jupiter trine Pluto. So Jupiter in your first house is really great. There's just, um, more confidence, more enthusiasm, and this goes on through the rest of 2015 and into 2016 for you. So you're kind of in a renaissance phase. And uh, Pluto, here again, we, as we spoke earlier, is that there's this burning desire and talent and, uh, going on and that you, that you feel that you can really uh, maximize your luck or you, you have um, just a knack for estimating probability. So you almost like special powers is what you have at this point in October. Uh, Mercury goes back into prograde motion on October 9th, so you should feel like tch, 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 everything is in order. You've got your materials and tools, but um, also I just want to put in another vote there for the survival instincts. So it's not just all about all your stuff, it's about your strength in your body and how are you responding to things. So the new moon is in um, near the sign. Uh, uh, the star, rather, Spica, which is the, uh, the, the sh bunch of grain that is being held by the agricultural goddess. So it, it's, it's all about kind of the, um, you know, again, survival instincts, materials, and tools. And you can really start some new trends here that could be very hopeful and wishful. And, uh, and really interesting elements at play here because it's not just stuff. It could be dealing with the, the basics of life in terms of natural sciences agriculture and really big questions in philosophy and the scenes at play here are culture music and art so that you are really developing some senses here in another deep way hope versus cynicism well of course you know it's always good to be hopeful if you can but cynical when it's appropriate and so there's this um so what we learned in the first half of october may had maybe you know building stronger character actually and now you can launch this into uh, new arenas of culture, science, and justice, and, uh, and, and, and building a better life, really. So um, in your eighth house, you're learning more about um, shared profits and collaborations. And you probably are hooked up with all kinds of really bizarre people and new inventions, and some of which you might not even understand. So it's, you're kind of going through these to see what is really going to work, what is really going to take off in the future in terms of a business. And that's another consideration on this new moon. 
Now, there's a Mars-Jupiter uh, conjunction in your first house, so people are going to think of you as kind of like a good luck token. You're, there's going to be something here that you will symbolize to people that it might have to do with your engineering skills or design talent or that you can provide remedies. So, you know, you really are thought of as a very amazing, you know, magical person here. And, uh, and the great success, huge success and great luck is here, but you really have to hit it here and then even you could be a matchmaker, you could be a diplomat. October 24th through 26th, Venus and Jupiter and Mars now in your first house. So, I mean, you're just like going gangbusters. You're just amazing. So you really want to take advantage of this good timing. Now, on the full moon in your ninth house, you, in education, you could, you could have a, an amazing seminar or conference experience. You might have a religious type of revelation or, you know, philosophical breakthrough. There could be just a great sense of wonder feel like you're really in tune with the world and, and so this is this is really outstanding and um and and maybe you'll take a trip or you know something really really great here um it, it's in uh, the full moon is near the constellation andromeda and so this allows you to expand community views and ideas in a big way and also to be more justice oriented truthful and benevolent because we're near the triangle constellation also near the heart of the whale and Ketus, so you can sense patterns and systems, weather or network, you can get into weather prediction, right? <laughs> That's pretty cool. Okay, and also feeling pride in nation root and cultural heritage, and either through some travel experience or through some education or some kind of entunement with your religious background, whatever, this is a really great full moon. We won't have anything like this for a while. Huge conglomerates, great accord. And I really hope you can maximize your benefits here because in November, we're seeing now signs of stoicism, sacrifice. We're all going to be toughening up. But, you know, that's a good thing in itself, too, I guess. Well, anyway, I wish you all the luck possible in October. You deserve it. You work hard. And um, thanks so much for watching. My name is Victoria Martin.